Chad from One Palm Marketing. I want to go through our hot new feature here of um, syncing your social media to your website. This is one of the most important upgrades that we've had and I want to run you through exactly how this is going to look. Um, if, if you don't have a WordPress site, don't worry about it. We've got an easy workaround on how we can set this up for you, but it's imperative going into 2014 that you are, you know, using your social media but using it correctly. You know, just posting to Facebook is it's not the correct way to do it. Posting to Facebook from your blog is the correct way to do it and I'm going to show you how and why. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my blog and blog you don't have to write an article just you know the same thing that you would do for a Facebook or Twitter update or update your Pinterest account is the same thing that you want to operate your blog with you want to do it every day if possible it takes 15 minutes so there's really no excuses not to be able to do this so I've already got a title I've written I've already got some text over here that I'm just going to paste into my blog and you know it took me less than 10 minutes to write this go through and click you know correct the spelling errors it's really easy okay making sure it reads correctly and I want to go and find an image just you guys can't see this but there's a bunch of different ways to add images and I already have a bunch in there so I'm just going to use my logo set that as my featured image you can also add an image in here you can add a video in here by just collecting the URL of the video and hitting return and it embeds YouTube, Dailymotion, Vimeo, Metacafe. So again, really simple interface. We've got a lot more upgrades here that we can show you, but you know the most important thing is the sharing settings. So what I've done is I've connected my Facebook, connected my Tumblr, my Google Plus, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, and my personal Google Plus profile. This Google Plus is for my business. So um, it verifies me as a publisher, what type of groups I'm in, my friends, my following. It's making me look like an expert in the industry and as far as Google's eyes go and an authority for what I'm talking about. So when I go to my add new post, I'm doing this in live time here. There's a blue button to the right that says publish. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to click the publish button. Okay. So it's publishing right now. So okay, I've given my uh, post a little time to publish, and this is how it looks. Um, what you can do, I'll, what you want to do is you want to put an image in here, and whatever image you do put in there, um, it's going to pick it up on the social networks. But here's where you're going to get the aha moment. Let me just refresh my Twitter account right here. Two minutes ago, learn how to connect social media to your website. So what's that doing when somebody clicks on that? To read more about it because you know again Twitter it's only going to give you a little bit so let's see okay it connected back to my website so I hope this is making sense Google Plus profile let's refresh that connecting social media website see it actually did pick up an image and I click here that time to load my personal Google Plus page updated there plus one that and my Facebook page three minutes ago via Twitter click on here See, I don't want to keep people on my Facebook page that's not going to get me any money it's not going to help me sell anything. Let's see what it did to my Tumblr. Right here. Uh, it says February 2000, February 10, 2014. So, here we go. That just came back from Tumblr. So, you see how you're driving traffic back to your website now? not keeping people on your social site so hopefully there's a big aha moment there this is the future you guys it's not only going to save you time it's going to help you boost your rankings and it's going to help social followers get back to your website
Thank you.